Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther and today I'm going to show you some uh, ways and methods how, you, how, how to accelerate your workflow in Adobe Illustrator. Shortcuts. Always work with shortcuts. This is the thing in Illustrator. If you want to get pro, you don't want to use this panel. Get rid of this panel and use only shortcuts. As you can see when I do tutorials down here, you can see I'm always pressing some stuff and I'm never using these panels. You know, when you're gonna go here and let's say you wanna select something, you need to long click and then select whatever you want. There's like also some other tools that doesn't contain any shortcuts. For example, this shape, the polygon tool, the star tool, for example, the pathfinder, which is like really uh, useful also. I use it a lot, so I basically put these in here. Uh, you just need to long click and uh, select this little thing, the arrow, and you're gonna see pop. It's gonna pop up, and press on this, and I just put it here, lock it there. But make sure you know work with shortcuts is gonna work really fast. And there's like also some important stuff that doesn't contain shortcut. For example, file and export, export as. As you can see, I replace it with Control Y. Um, you know, you, you got to export the screen, but uh, what if you want to export something, just a PNG or just this or that, you just click on, I just click on control one and it, it's going to appear. There's like another one and this is the expand. Let's say I uh, got something on, I don't know, on this one. I'm going to increase this. I want to expand it and you don't have a shortcut. You need to go to the object. You need to expand and expand appearance when which you need. And also I edit that with, with a shortcut. You can see the control E or shift control E. So I just press it. Sorry, control E, there you go. And click OK. How you do this stuff is basically you go to the edit and keyboard shortcuts. So the stuff is here. These doesn't contain shortcuts, uh, but when you're gonna rename these, you're gonna rename some other shortcuts from other actions, basically. So you re really need to be cautious about this because you might uh, destroy some other shortcuts. Uh, I don't know. For me, uh, I checked these shortcuts, but uh, I didn't found anything useful. <laughs> for example, the Control One or Control Shift E or some stuff like that but uh, it basically renamed some shortcuts so anyways these are the tools as you can see here from the right side and if you go click on this you select menu commands and these are these from the menus and here you can see the file and uh, export or you go to object expand and basically just click on this and you type in your shortcut and you click OK. Of course, uh, it's, it's going to pop up a window with a warning sign. And it's on your risk, so test it out. Maybe you're going to broke the shortcuts, but uh, at least you, you experiment. Anyways, now there's like another stuff, you know, for example, when you long click, you just long click when you don't use shortcuts because some don't have the shortcuts. You just press Alt and as you can see, it changes the options. You don't need to long click and select. You just tap, tap, tap and you just uh, select what you want. How to resize our boards after shape at the same time. Uh, now there's like uh, you know slow to fast kind of methods. I'm gonna show you all of those. For example, let's say you know you got multiple files that you need to export for the client, and you want to make it fast as possible. So um, what usually beginners do is basically select all the forms and then start to you know create new artboards and put it everything there, and then just start resizing. Go to document settings edit artboard and you, you just start you know resizing one by one one you don't you, you don't do that uh, you just press control o as you can see there and it just automatically jumps into the artboard options and you click on the vector which you want to put in an artboard and there you go this is how you do it you, you need to click it once or twice it's a lot of clicks anyways so there's like another way how to do this stuff really fast. There's like a script going on on the internet is floating around, which is really helpful for this. I'm gonna link it to you down in the description so you can download it. So you just leave all the form forms like, like this. You go to file, script, other script. Here it is, make artboards, no space, double click and everything is on an artboard. 
and in order to organize the artboards you click on the artboards click on this little thing uh, you can set your columns five is good for me click OK and uh, it's gonna organize it somewhat but anyways this is it so yeah what do you think uh, leave a comment down below and of course I'm planning to make uh, another episode on this part two or eventually part three okay so this is it thanks for watching if you're new on the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the other videos have a good one bye bye